Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So, summer is quickly approaching and I can't wait. It is my absolute favorite time of year. I love the heat, I love the beach, I love the drinks, I love the parties, I love the makeup, okay? Now for summer, with all the heat and everything, you kinda gotta do your makeup a little bit different. I feel like that's true for like every season. You gotta switch it up for every season. For summer, I tend to like a look that's much more minimal, comfortable to wear, very light, but still very flattering and kind of almost just enhancing your natural beauty. That is exactly what we've done with this look right here. And I just want to go ahead and show y'all how I achieved this. There are a few really cool tips and tricks that I share in this video, as well as my favorite like number one products that I'm gonna be using all summer long. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and do so. It's somewhere down there. I don't know if it's on this side or this side, but it's somewhere there. Please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can know every single time a new video goes live. Thank you very much for subscribing. Now let's get on to this tutorial. All right, so let's jump on in here nice and up close and personal so you guys can see exactly what's going on. All right, so to start, my skin has already been washed and moisturized. So it just has some lush moisturizer on it. Um, but besides that, I have nothing on. And the first thing that I always like to do is my brows. So for brows, my Ride or Die product is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is cruelty free. Actually, everything that I mentioned in this video will be cruelty free because I do not support any brands that do animal testing. But yes, Brow Wiz is bay, and I wear the shade Dark Brown. So I'm just gonna start by brushing out my brows making them nice and neat. So I like to use very light pressure towards the inside of my brow, and then as we get further down to the tail end, that's where I use my heaviest amount of pressure. If you want a more in-depth video on how I do my brows specifically, I actually did a video that is completely dedicated to just brows, so I will link that somewhere up here so you can check that out as well. All right, so my brows are all done, and then just to kind of seal them in, because this is a more summer look, you wanna make sure that in the summer heat, you might be sweating, you're gonna be in the beach, in the water. I'm gonna go ahead and just seal them in with some brow gel. This is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. All right, so that is it for brows, just keeping them super simple, nice, and natural. So next up, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin. So I'm really wanting this to be super moisturizing, nice and dewy, just like, we just wanna look glowy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite primer of all time and also mix it with a little something else. So I'm gonna be taking my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and mixing it with my Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. The Dew Drops that I have are the Rose Gold. I think it just goes a little better with my skin tone. This is bomb, and it's such a good little mixture. I'm gonna use a lot more of the coconut primer than I do of the dew drops. I'm just gonna use a little like teensers of this. All right, looking nice and dewy. Now, the reason why I wanna look like extra dewy is because we're gonna use powder foundation for this look. So the reason why I'm using powder foundation is because we want it to feel super lightweight. You don't want your face to feel caked up outside in that summer sun. Like it's just not a good look. So I really tend to use powders a lot more during the summer. But we still want that powder to give us good color payoff. And I find that when you use like a moisturizer that's like dewy and moisturizing and when the powder like mix into that, it almost like melts the powder and it kind of gives you like an amazing finish and the coverage payoff is like way better. So the powder foundation that I'm gonna be using today is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder Foundation, my absolute fave. Please don't judge me on how the inside of this pan looks. It is looking a little gray, but again, I love this powder, so I use it frequently. So I am wearing the shade Nutmeg 24, and I'm just gonna grab like a super huge fluffy brush. This is by Morphe, it's their E41 brush. I love this brush. So I'm just gonna dig in here. What this is doing is it really is just evening out our skin tone, getting it to one even color. 
So as you can see here, it's still, don't mind this because that is just disgraceful. As you can see, like you can still like see through to my skin, but it's just looking a lot more even toned. And that's all I was really looking for from this foundation. All right, so next I'm gonna grab a little bit of concealer. I feel like it's just nice to have a little bit of brightness under your eyes. Because we are, again, going for this natural, minimal summer look, I'm just gonna use a little bit. I'm also using a specific concealer, which is another one of my faves. It is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is the bomb.com. It is not mattifying, it's not drying, and it's also very comfortable to wear. So this is why I chose this one for this look as well. So I wear the shade Warm Sand. And now I'm just gonna go and apply a little bit under my eyes and a little bit on my chin and above my lip. Also maybe a little bit down my nose. Yeah. Again, very minimal. I usually put a lot more. So I'm actually, instead of a beauty blender, I'm gonna use this. I feel like this brush kind of diffuses it a little bit more. This is the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush. Look at how that just disappears into the skin. Ugh, I love this. Boom, so complexion is starting to come together a little bit. So even though we're going for like this dewy, fun, natural makeup look, you still gotta make sure that your skin is like protected so it doesn't get dewy out of control once you're outside in the summer heat. So of course we gotta do some powder to set all of this in and I'm gonna go with my ride or die, like I swear by this powder, it is my ultimate fave. Y'all see me use this all the time. This is the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in the shade Medium. And to apply my powder, I'm just grabbing a fluffy angled brush. This is also by Morphe. This is their Y3 brush from the Gilded Collection. So I'm not gonna bake. Y'all already know how I feel about baking. I just, it dries out my skin too much. So I'm just gonna swirl my brush into the powder and then simply press it into my skin. So see, we're not completely matte. We've still got a little bit of dew like shining through, but it's like the right amount, right? Like it's not like a glazed donut. All right, so next I'm gonna add a very, very light amount of bronzer. I'm really not looking for this to really contour. I'm looking for this to more just bronze the skin, exactly what it's supposed to do. Just give us a little bit more depth on the skin, a little bit more color to our complexion. So to bronze, I'm using the Tarte Hotel Harris Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer. Next, I'm gonna jump into blush. Now the blush, I'm doing in two different steps today, and that is like a major key to this entire look. This is actually my favorite part of this entire look. So, for the first step for our blush, I'm gonna apply a regular powder blush, but very lightly. Um, I'm really just looking to get some color payoff from this blush because it's amazing. This is a new favorite of mine, and this is by Juvia's Place. It is their blush in the shade Serafina. So I'm just grabbing this Benefit Hula Brush and I don't know, I just like the way this goes along my cheekbones. Ta-da! So that's giving us some cute little payoff right there, yes! All right, but for blush, we are not just gonna stop there. I am gonna share with you guys my number one favorite product for the summer. You can use this on a completely bare face and still look like you're glowing from the gods. I just fell in love with this product as soon as I saw it. And this is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Stick. And this is the shade Perk. Let me show you the greatness. The reason why I like this is because it is like, I just love the consistency of it. The color payoff isn't super crazy, which is why I ended up using this blush first. But I love to just dab this on the top of my cheeks because look at that nice little sheen that you get from this product. Like I just, I love it because this is actually going to start to replace my highlighters for the summer. I know, crazy right? But I really, really love like a dewy highlight. I don't like the powdery stripe, the glittery stripe, like I'm over that now. And I just want something that is just 
dewy and delicious and that is exactly what this does for you all right so I usually start by warming up on my skin a little bit and then I just go and dab it to the apples of my cheeks and then you just use your finger to dab it in but look at that look at that glow you can see the difference here Okay, the glow is here. So like I said, that is replacing my highlighter step. That's it, this is done. This is, this is my blush and highlighter in one. I, oh, I'm obsessed. All right, so we are almost done, but we still got two more steps to go, well, three, I guess, if you're counting setting spray. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some setting spray so we can keep this all in place. All right, so for setting spray, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. This is my all-time fave. I pretty much use this for every look. It's bomb. All right, so technically, if you kinda just wanted to clean up your skin a little bit and call it a day, you could really just stop here. Like, you could put on some chapstick and go. I, however, have an issue with my eyelashes so they're super straight so I usually like to apply a little bit of mascara I wanted to show y'all my all-time favorite mascara especially for people like me who have straight lashes like this mascara is the only mascara so far that really gets my eyelashes to curl up a little bit all right and the mascara is the man eater mascara by Tarte give you all a little close-up of the bristles so as you can see, the bristles are super short. Like it's not one of those clumpy looking um, brushes. It's just very, mm, I just love this. There's also a very special method I like to use in order to get my lashes to curl. They just need a lot of help. And I've always, always been really nervous to use a lash curler. Those, they just look scary from afar. So I've actually never tried that. But I just use my little method instead and I kind of just push it up with my fingers. Anyway, y'all about to see, let me show you. So first tip that I like to use is like switching eyes when you're using mascara. I don't know if it's magic or sorcery or something, but when I like alternate between the two eyes, I don't know, the payoff is just like amazing. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I'll do a couple applications here then move to the next eye then back like literally alternating back and forth between the two and for some reason that just distributes the right amount of product to each eye and it just works like a dream also when i do apply my lashes i like to like really get on under them because i want them to curl i apply them from under to start getting them going in that curling action so instead of just like doing this i really have to like tilt my head back and like get under there. That has made a difference in my lashes, like a night and day difference, trust me. All right, and then once I feel like I've got enough product on both eyelashes, I then just go ahead and push them up with my fingers. So that woke my eyes up a little bit. All right, and so for the very last step, we gotta do a little something with the lip. And again, going super simple, super natural. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Fenty Gloss Balm, which is my favorite gloss of all time. This is the first shade she came out with, which is that universal looking shade. It's called Fenty Glow. And yeah, so I'm just gonna pop that on my lips. Yeah, I'm gonna have to order some more. This is like, done. All right guys, and that is it for this look. How easy was that? And honestly, the way I feel right now, I just feel so comfy. Like I just, you know sometimes when you put on a lot of makeup and then in a few hours, you're kind of like, ugh, can't wait to take it off. Like this is one of those looks where you actually forget that you're actually wearing makeup. We just kind of enhanced our natural beauty here and I love it. It is not only cute to look at, but it is comfortable to wear and that to me is like, Winning. Mm. Yes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Also, comment below 
some of your favorite summer products. I would really love to discover some other products as well. So if you guys got some ride or die products that you love, please, please, please comment them below so I can take a look and try them out too. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will catch you in my next video. Bye.